Hey, Glam Crew. I don't even have like a cute little introduction to do for y'all right now because I'm just, oh, I'm just fed up with, um, I'm just fed up with the healing process right now. I'm trying to um, make sure I'm not blocking the microphone so y'all can hear me. I need to get up and drink me some Arnica tea for real. That's what I need to do. And put my fire. <laughs> And put my fire hot on, but I look a hot mess, y'all. Don't don't talk about my ways. I got the crusty voice right now. But let's talk about the healing process. I want to find some good lighting. This video is gonna be about the healing process. Let's see, is this some good lighting right here, y'all? Yeah, this a do. This a do. So we're going to talk about the healing process. And right now, I don't know. I just feel kind of really emotional because I be in here stressed out. <laughs> I do. And when I, like my break, I just like to get out, drink, dance. You know how you just turn, blast the music and just dance. You don't even have to be drunk or high or anything. You just want to play loud music and just twirl in a circle and just let go and not care about anything in anything important you just want to be free and i'm a good neighbor i don't blast my music because when people blast their music i call the police because when i'm at home i want to be in peace i want to be relaxing but i'm a good neighbor so i go out to the club y'all and it's like now I can't even go to the club in peace because, like, people just be bothering me. And I'm, okay, let me say that, like, a different way, for instance. Excuse me. When you get your body done, you look better. You're, like, upgraded. You look like a big superstar. Even if you looked good before, just having, like, the perfect curves, the perfect round butt, it's going to draw attention to you. And so sometimes that attention can be good. Sometimes it can be bad. And before, you know, surgery, I go out to the clubs, have a good time, um, dance. You know, a couple people might try to talk to me, but like I shake it off. Like, oh, I'm just here to have a good time. Legit. I just want to have a good time. I'm not here to get numbers and whatever. I just want to dance, drink my drink, be gone. But now... It's like, I can't even do that. You walk in the club, people are following you around in the club. Everybody is just trying to get your number and holler. Um, people have up these fake facades, like, oh, I'm this and I'm that. I don't care. I just want to have fun. Like, can you just let me be? Like, people don't know how to let you be. Um, and then the women. Oh, my goodness, y'all, the women. So women will come up to you, smack you, smack your butt grab you or just look at you ask you did you get your body done um is your butt real or does that i worked out <laughs> and i had surgery so both of them um and i'm just not really comfortable with that because i like i said i like to dance and have fun and i was like mm. Now I just got to sit in my section and try not to draw attention to me because if I stand up, next thing I know, everybody wants to be in my face or people really remember who you are. So if you go to the club and you see like, usually it'd be the same people anyways, but let's say you see X, Y, and Z at the club. Then the next day you see X, Y, and Z at the club. And it's like, they just remember you and just be all in your face. Like, oh, she always at the club. Blah, blah, blah. Mind your business. <laughs> I'm here to have fun. I'm always at the club. Y'all wasn't bothering me and saying all this stuff beforehand, before I got my little booty uh, rounded out. So why y'all in my face now? Like, move around. Other things about the healing process is like, people just get weird. They just get different. They talk to you different. They treat you different, whether it's good or bad. Um, they try to act like, they just act different for whatever reason. And I'm not even going to say it's jealousy or people hating. 
people just act differently. Like, I'm trying to think, what's some good examples? I don't even have no good examples, y'all. And the thing is, I have the same, per- I have the same personality. I'm like the same person. I'm getting like, I'm getting frustrated with it because I'm the same person. My attitude didn't switch up. I've been doing the same stuff. It's just now my body looks different. And I don't, I honestly, I don't see much of a big difference. Like my hips are rounded out. My butt is rounded out. Literally it's the same thing. It's just smoother. I guess smooth. It's like nothing even crazy. Y'all see my before and after. It's like nothing really changed. But now everybody around me is changing. Um, I had people that supposedly cut me off or, you know, didn't want to hang out with me or be my friend. And now all of a sudden they message me, hey, you want to go out or you want to go get something to eat or just I'll be getting so many calls and phone messages and stuff. People want to check up on me and I'm like, hmm. So I got the same number. I just feel like the people that I want to be bothered with don't even want to be bothered with me no more because they feel like, oh, you have an Instagram body, which I don't. <laughs> My body look good, but I'm not no Instagram model. Um, But yeah, people like expect you to be different. Um, And I've always put myself on like a higher pedestal because I just treat myself differently, you know? Like, I like going to the spa. I like getting my hair and my nails done. I like to treat myself like a princess when I can, when I can afford it, you know, because I do have real life responsibilities. I have real life responsibilities. Rent is real. And I do not have my hand out for anything. I work hard. I do overtime. Try to pick up some side little hustles, but... It's hard, y'all. Like, expect when you have surgery for just everything to change. Just make sure you're kind of mentally prepared. Like, have a friend that's not going to turn into no weird type of vibe that you can count on to kind of like uplift your spirits. And unfortunately, that friend for me is currently in a situation. So, I miss my friend, y'all. That friend is currently in a situation. My hands. Oh, let me tell y'all. What was I just talking about? Oh, I did have this written down. Um, where I was talking about the healing process. But mainly it's just the whole mental thing. Like, it's not even painful. It's not even painful for real. Like, my round one, like, yeah, it was painful. But I was just mainly stiff. When I lay in the position for too long. So, let's say I'm laying on my back. Um, for like maybe 20, 30 minutes. When I go to get up, my back is going to feel like it's on fire um, from the lipo. So be prepared <laughs> for that. And I'll be taking multiple things. Like I take collagen, vitamin C, turmeric, arnica, arnica pellets, arnica tea, um, Benadryl, ibuprofen. Uh, what else do I be taking? And then like the ointments that I rub on my skin, the dermoplast I spray to kind of numb me, um, the thermosin, no, Urbanol, it's like that red cream from DR, kind of like I think they call it a tiger balm. Um, but different stuff that I'm putting on my body and in my body kind of like causes different reactions in me. And depending like I might take two termic, termic pills today, tomorrow I only might take one. I might drink three cups of Arnica tea, but the next day I only get like two cups in. Um, So it's like different reactions in my body. My hands was peeling like crazy. And um, it was just like skin, like you know how snake sheds, right? And that's how my hands was. My thighs was like that, my inner thighs, my thighs was like that. And my feet, now my feet are peeling. But now the peeling is going on my hands. My hands feel so good and soft, like really good. My feet are peeling now. Last year, my legs, I would say from like my knees down, I was like peeling, not my feet. My skin was just peeling, peeling, peeling. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And I was rubbing bio on me daily. 
Um, this time I was doing like coconut oil and Vaseline and bio oil too. But my skin is still is going to peel. It's not because I have dry skin. It's just all the different supplements I'm taking is causing different reactions in my body. So please be prepared for that. Um, I got like a little bit of acne like right in here. And it's rare that I break out. Or it could be stress to y'all because um, I be trying to keep up with YouTube. I be trying to keep up with work. Um, in the process of trying to go back to school for my master's degree. Yay! But that costs. <laughs> it costs a lot of money. Um, so trying to work and get money, pay for school. Nobody gives me handouts. Nobody has my back. If I'm lacking in something... There's nobody I can call and be like, hey, let me borrow $2,000 without having to come up with some type of story, begging, promising, anything like that. Like, no family. Maybe my brother, but doubt it. Doubt it. Um, One of my friends, kind of, but she be a little iffy with her money. And I understand it. You work hard. You can't just, like, go give your money away. For somebody else's dreams. Um, I could probably walk in a bank, you know, get a quick loan. But then these interest rates are so high. Ooh, and I don't want to mess up my credit score. My credit score is like perfect. Um, So pretty much I just be having to work and grind it out and save. And just do little by little with what I can. But it'd be so hard with like no help for other stuff. Like I get like the bare, the bare minimum help the bare minimum help with my child and i'm a kind person i don't got time to chase nobody down cuss nobody out acting out of character because what god has in place for me is for me i ain't even gonna worry about it because i'm an og one way or another <laughs> i'm gonna make it best believe that and i ain't gotta do nothing crazy nothing out of character because blessings do be dropping in my lap for real and I think that's because, you know, I'm respectful. I have values. I have character. I do good onto others. So just stay positive, y'all. And I be telling myself this, man. Sometimes it go in one ear and out the other. Yeah, it go in one ear and out the other. Um... I don't know who I be talking to. Uh, What is her name? But you always comment on my videos and be real positive. And I was like, oh my God, this is like my soul sister. My surgery sisters, even though one of them from last year, me and her really keep in touch. And like, she just be coming through with positive stuff. And I'd be like, damn, I appreciate that. Because no, nobody else. Don't nobody else come through and try to be positive or be like fake positive stuff. <sighs> y'all. When I first started YouTube, I said, ain't no way y'all gonna have me crying on here <laughs> and look at me <laughs> being a whole sucker. Y'all. Then it's like when you look a certain way, people all just prejudge you. And I just hate that so much. I hate it so much. They don't even give you the opportunity to know you. <laughs> but y'all listen. So I remember one time um, back in college, <clears throat> this dude had said to me, he was like, you got like a bad bitch personality. You said you got like, you know. One of them Nicki Minaj personalities and da da da, but you find everything, but you're not even that cold. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, sir, look at your teeth. But see, you know what? I don't even care about all that because I know who I am. I know what I want for myself. I know what goals I want to achieve. And it might take me longer because I'm trying to do it the right way. But I'm going to get there. And yeah, I always had, you know, like, it's me. Who are you to tell me no? 
when I tell myself yes all the time. What? So yeah, I guess I always had that that type of attitude. Maybe the body didn't match, but <laughs> and now that I got the body to match, supposedly, like people just weirder. Going to the grocery store, you will have people follow you. My butt is not that big. I promise y'all. It's really not. People will follow you around in the store. Um, what else about the healing process? <clears throat> Give yourself grace. Give yourself time. Your body's going to change all the time. Oh, and my phone about to die, y'all. This was just so spur of the moment. I was working on a video yesterday about the recovery house. And I didn't even get like, maybe I got eight minutes into the video before I kept getting interrupted. And I'm like, oh, where is my village to help me with this? Because I'm just always getting interrupted with something. I just want to get away, y'all. I just want to get away for some time and just... I don't know, but as soon as I get away, I'm like, I want to come back. I want to be home. Oh, some days I'll be feeling good. Y'all, five, like I was like three to five days out of surgery. I was in a recovery house dancing, singing. I felt good. And then when I come back here, it's just like lonely. I try to keep up with my surgery sisters. And honestly, like sticking with your surgery sisters and stuff, um, Forming those relationships will make the process a little bit easier. Um, listening to other people's experience. I watch a lot of um, different videos about people's different experiences. Um, finding stuff that you like to ease your mind is a good thing too. Unfortunately for me, I like to eat. I didn't gain weight, y'all. Um. So, like I said, unfortunately for me, I like to eat, but it is important that after surgery, you eat healthy. Because if you're like taking in a lot of sodium, not getting a lot of water, you will feel bloated. You will feel miserable and you don't want to feel like that. Okay. I drink a lot of water, so I haven't had that issue, but please walk after surgery and while you're healing, I'm not sure the exact time, but I think like maybe up to three to four weeks after surgery, you are still liable to get a blood clot. Fact check me. But make sure that you are walking and staying hydrated and trying to eat right. Okay. Um, make sure you keep your compression up. After surgery, I got a lot of headaches. And I don't even know why, because I'll be hydrated, y'all. So why am I getting headaches? They wasn't bad. Because if you get like um like really bad migraines and they last for a certain period of time, you might need like um a, a blood patch or something like that. Mm -hmm. Oof. Compress y'all. And I think that's really all I want to talk about. The healing process. It's just like a big mental thing y'all make sure you got a good support system and y'all already know i be talking to a lot of people um on instagram messages i video chatted with a few people just you know i'm always i'm not even gonna lie i'm not always available but when i do get available i respond back um i like to get out but i just be so drained sometimes the healing process y'all the lipo burn the lipo itch i even have like a rash my skin i have really good skin except for somehow i want a keloid um and there's like some parts like the keloid i just look at like mm, i don't like it but this is a part of me now i have to learn to love it it's now part of me mm-hmm I ain't got sleepy y'all. It took some binge. <laughs> I said I was gonna publish this video today because it's now Monday and I was gonna do a video yesterday, but I just didn't have time. I gotta get more organized, y'all. What are ways that I can get more organized? Can y'all comment below? 
Also comment below what struggles or achievements you have had during your healing process. Because I want to know. I want to know what makes you smile. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Y'all know I be way more professional in these videos, but gotta take the good with the bad, Glam Crew. Every day is not gonna be good. Every day is not gonna be bad. And a lot of people fail to realize that. I'm really happy my first round I realized that. Cause it was not a peaches and cream type experience. This experience, this round was good. But the healing process has been has been getting to me, y'all. Especially my back. When I wake up and it just be on fire. Ooh. Uh -uh. Ooh. And make sure that you are prepared for all the out-of-pocket costs for aftercare. I just be looking at my account I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. It's just going down, 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 down. But it's okay. We're going to build it back up. Don't listen to comments about anybody saying about anything. Ignore it. If you got to get off social media, if you got to cut friends, if you got to cut family, you got to do what make you happy. And if it don't make you happy, guess what? Don't do it. <laughs> That's how I be talking about myself in the mirror. If you need to get in the mirror and talk to yourself like that, do it. Oof. book a vacation but I'm about to cut up and when I start cutting up don't nobody get in my face talking about oh you got your body done so now I've been cutting up I've been doing this what are y'all talking about but now y'all just y'all listening y'all was asleep on me but now y'all trying to wake up Nah, I'll go back to sleep. Oh, my phone, Diane. Okay, y'all, I'm done. Love y'all. Thank you for watching, Glam Crew. Like, comment, and subscribe, please.